Hey guys, it's going to Christian making more videos again. Today, guys, we have some trim pieces that we're going to be installing on the Highlander. So without further ado, let's get to it. So when I say door trim, I'm talking about right here when we open the door. And on the Highlander, there's some kind of empty black spots right here that look dull, not high quality, just black. And it's kind of weird it's black, to be honest, because everything else has like a nice silver trim to it, as you can see on the other side as well, all this silver trim right here. But this happens to be all black. And then the other side as well, so you see it's all black right there, even though there's a nice silver trim going right there, right here. So I wanted to match something, and I found them online. They should do the trick. They should do the trick guys so let's go check it out so here are the two boxes right here they're for both types of highlanders and what i mean both type, i'm going to show you in a second let me open the first one right here pour out all the contents nothing else in the box itself let me put it down to the side oh and i totally forgot i also got one of these guys um i've got some red ones and there should be some silver ones in that one valve caps you know what i mean for your tires right there and i got some metal ones right here as well i wanted to give these to my friend who has a red truck and i have some silver ones i'm going to be putting on here i love my metal ones right here uh they're nice they're awesome but i like the darker silver so i might put those on but this is what i'm talking about the two types of highlander so this is the first type of highlander right here it has these buttons right here for the memory settings for your vehicle okay in my highlander i don't have the memory settings however if you do you got yourself covered guys so this is the first type right here and then obviously the second type take everything out and then put it down to the side and this is the second type right here that doesn't have any of the holes or anything like that and that should fit in my highlander and like like I said as well, these are silver valve caps, uh, gun metallic, whatever you want to call it, that I'm going to be installing uh, later on. Not right now, but later on. These are some awesome covers, and the red ones are going to look awesome on my friend's red truck, guys. A Tundra. You guys already know the Tundra. So we have four for each because there's four in each. There's two on the front right here, one right here, one on the other side. I can't wait to install it. Look how dull it looks. It's going to just elevate the look of this uh, handles. And also as well of the passenger. Don't forget the passenger. I'm going to bring some lighting in here so I can show you how install it right here but yeah the passenger is right here and the one on the other side as well i'm gonna show you in a second Alrighty, guys it's much better you can definitely see it now there's a lot of lighting and i have the two for different vehicles for the for the one without the three buttons right here and the one with the three buttons what i mean by that is obviously here are the holes for that i don't need this one so i'm gonna put this one down to the side make sure you choose the ones you require and this is the one i actually require so i'm gonna be putting the silver thing basically right there making it look a lot cleaner than this here's the before let me zoom in right here there we go look at this before just look extremely dull and, and just you know blah and it doesn't even match with this uh, silver trim right here and you can see how this matches with this and so this will just give it a nice upgraded look so let's see how easy this is let's take it out the back right here it definitely probably the same material as something like this i mean these are all plastic pieces this is definitely plastic and on the back right here you just have some tape double side sticky tape like this that you just peel off so let me just do that right now and there we have it guys make sure you don't touch the black gray pieces whatever you want to call it and just basically you turn it around and stick it on there very carefully you know in the corners starting on top get it nice and snug in these corners right here as you can see and basically just push it down squeeze it down and you can see it's already done and holy crap this actually looks a ton better just give it a little bit more push guys and then let's see the finished product and would you look at that that just looks so much better than before i mean it matches with that matches with that and matches with that and you can see on the other side it's just a dark you can't see anything and it doesn't match with anything it just looks kind of plain this looks a little bit it gives it a little higher touch it's not for everyone it's just something that i wanted to do and also i wanted to put some more trim pieces like the center console right there there's some more trim pieces that this same company has okay so i'll leave the links in the description below it has trim pieces for this guy the black spot it has a huge trim piece for the center console part right here it's really awesome i'm definitely gonna probably most likely get that to give it a nice clean silver look instead of a black look right there give it an upgraded look and you can see look just very easy install took me like five minutes now i'm going to do the other side and show you how it looks before and after so i'm on the passenger side right here and make sure you know you wipe down any kind of mess or dirt or anything that's on here because you want to make sure that it sticks on correctly so yeah make sure everything is clean and we're going to do a snapping before and after on this guy so so this is how it looks before if you like it black like stradman says when it's gone it's gone there we go look at that absolutely beautiful and just looks so much better if you want to see before this is before and this is after. You guys have to agree that just looks look so much cleaner instead of just being black. So I like the trim. It looks stock and very subtle, but yet you can tell there's a little bit more 
oomph in your vehicle so that's that's awesome i like this one i like that one you can know man i'm already liking it look at that it looks awesome right there that you know it used to be black and i'm gonna do the back right here and let me just show you how they look right now you can already see it just like the other ones it just looks plain doesn't match with anything and looks very dark but now let's fix that let's install it on both sides and i'm gonna show you how they look i just have to stop real fast and just show you how beautiful that looks on that side and i can't wait to just start doing it on this i look at i mean Ah, yeah, okay. Alrighty, guys, and that is it. We're done. We have the first door right here, the second door right there. As you can see, it just looks a lot better than before. Looks like you have a higher model of this vehicle. The next thing, what I want to do from the same company, I saw that they have they have the silver thing for these. They also have silver plating for this guy right here around here. I don't know if I'm gonna get that, but this looks kind of bland and just you know black. If I got the silver plating, it'll match this right here. And then last but not least, they also have silver plating for this entire middle section section right here this all this black right here is gonna be silver really really nice all of this entire plate right here not this or anything like that so it's gonna be very subtle it's gonna match this right here and just give it a nice upgraded look that's what I'm looking for but yeah, yeah this is very simple guys extremely simple and like I said if you require the other type if you have the higher model with the three buttons on the door here we go I'll leave those links in the description as well I'll pretty much leave all the links I've talking about even the valve cover and I also installed the valve caps on on the Genesis you can see and you can see it right there it looks very classy they do have an extra one in the every packet you can see here's one and there are five in that one so I can't wait to install those on a red truck they have different colors as well guys I'll leave the link in the description section below but this was a very easy install and I am absolutely liking this outcome guys and I know you will love it Alrighty guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Links to purchase everything that I've talked about is gonna be in the description section of the video below. I'm gonna label it properly and have it in the description section. If you're watching this on Facebook, it's gonna be around the video, okay? Don't worry about it. Uh, and if you have any problems, just comment, you know, and I will direct you straight to that link. But yeah, I think hands down, this is one of the most easiest mods and but yet, just looks OEM and just gives it a more of an upgraded look to the vehicle that I've ever done, I gotta say. I mean, and I'm extremely satisfied with it. Some of you guys know I took a vacation on a cruise out of Galveston. I met quite a few. I think I met like five people that actually noticed me on that cruise. That was pretty awesome. It's a small world, guys. So if you do see me, make sure you say hi. Don't be shy. I'm not a mean person. Say, hey, if you want to say hi, talk to me. Tell me in person your questions and stuff. Don't worry. Just say hi. But on that guys that should be a video button and also subscribe button popping right here make sure you click on for more videos in the future other than that guys keep just here saying thanks for watching and peace